Aha! Welcome to Gen AI Briefs. Here's today's generative AI news for April 1st, 2024. We'll be covering AI music from text, how experts are warning of an AI bubble, and how a college is addressing the use of AI in college classrooms. AI is shaking up the music world in a major way. Tools like Suno can now generate entire songs, complete with lyrics, melodies, and instrumentation just from text prompts. The Spectator puts Suno to the test with keywords related to The Spectator, and it churned out an album's worth of tracks across genres like pop, rock, and hip-hop that legitimately sounded human-composed. However, these AI music tools do have limitations. They struggle with complex, non-lyrical text prompts and can't use copyrighted content as inspiration. But their capabilities are still mind-blowing, especially for low-budget needs like podcast themes, background music, and film scores. Why pay a composer when AI can create custom tunes for cheap? The rise of AI music generation could devastate many working musicians, but it could also enhance the creative process for some artists by assisting their workflow. Either way, the music scene is getting an AI remix that will shake things up, whether the industry is ready or not. All right, let's talk about the elephant in the room when it comes to the current AI craze, the growing fear of an AI bubble that could burst and leave a trail of destruction in its wake. Just look at the numbers. Investors are throwing billions at AI startups and companies left and right. With little regard for fundamentals, it's giving major dot-com bubble vibes from the late 90s, or even the autonomous vehicle hype from 2017. We've been here before with overhyped tech, and it didn't end well. Big name figures are sounding the alarm too. The former Stability AI CEO called AI the biggest bubble of all time. Billionaire investor Jeffrey Gundlach compared it to past manias. And analysts warn if this bubble pops, providers selling AI services for crazy prices per user could get obliterated. Sure, giants like NVIDIA might survive a correction, but many startups raising cash on grand AI promises are at major risk of getting swallowed up. We'll be keeping our eyes on this in future episodes. AI is infiltrating the classroom, and UNC Asheville is at the forefront of this trend. The university has introduced its first mass communication course, dedicated to teaching students how to utilize AI tools like Sona, Adobe, and the ever-popular ChatGPT for media tasks like text generation, video editing, and audio cleanup. Professors aim to showcase the positives of leveraging these powerful technologies. However, it's not all seamless implementation. Educators are grappling with potential pitfalls, like students misusing AI for cheating or plagiarism instead of truly learning. As a result, some 100-level foundational courses at UNCA have banned AI usage for now, as the university weighs broader AI policies and best practices. The rise of AI, particularly ChatGPT, isn't just confined to college campuses, though. A recent poll revealed a staggering fact. Nearly one-third of young working Americans are utilizing ChatGPT on the job already. Whether in schools or offices, AI's permeation into our daily lives and workflows is accelerating rapidly, albeit with some growing pains. That's it for today's generative AI news from today's sources. The Spectator, Futurism, and WLOS News. Thanks for listening. Links to these stories are in the podcast description. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you tomorrow.